Hello there again everybody. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is the documents or all the documents that I've prepared for the uh, up and coming court case. I'm doing this for my own benefit and uh, this is just to keep a record um, so that people can see the work that's done. There's 26 documents in front of us. I'll proceed and go round them now. Um, the first one that we're going to be presenting is the oath of office, a uh, judicial oath, an oath of allegiance to the judge. The next one is the uh, territorial police constable's oath, also sworn to the crown. So that's the judge swearing an oath to the crown and the constable swearing an oath to the crown and the crown prosecution service. You won't be able to guess who they will have sworn an oath to. So this is like three, uh, three foxes and a chicken sitting down and deciding what's for lunch. This one, there's a statement that the Crown is unfit to proceed for following reasons. One of those that the uh, Crown uh, is a, uh, a Catholic satellite state um, and the uh, monarchy is a puppet regime of the Vatican. This is the declaration of assent in the canonic law of uh, the Church. Uh, this shows that it's... Uh, uh, they take a canonical assent, or the assentio, to the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Then there's the Crown. Uh, the Court of the Crown stands accused of violation of Article 10 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That means I'm basically uh, unentitled, as it stands, to a fair and impartial trial. Then we've got to look at the implications of me not being allowed to change my beliefs or my uh, ideology, and that comes under the uh, Section 71 of the, uh, the Coroners and Justice Act 2009, Outlawing Slavery and Servitude. You might want to look up at that Act. Then specific defences uh, under uh, Admiralty Law and Maritime Law. Uh, because privacy, sorry, piracy or privateering is the only way that they will have been allowed to take my vehicle. Then um, we're looking at this uh, quite contentious legislation now, the uh, section, uh, it's, uh, section 165A and B of the 1988 Road Traffic Act has been amended illegally and unlawfully by SOCA. That's the Serious Organised Crime uh, Act or Serious Organised Crime and Police Act of 2005, which inserted Section 165A and B into the Road Traffic Act. I don't think I'm engaged in serious organised crime. This is a statement of my inviolable human sovereignty for violations of Articles 135, 8, 10, 18, and 20 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Then we look to a main document here which is the submissions in the uh, in the case that's the the beef of the argument and the next one to it is the pre-trial notes uh, which you can see there then we've got a copy of the letter that was sent to the attorney general um, that was then the notification given to the police officers at the side of the road with the fee schedule and a letter sent to the DVLA to a guy called Simon C, informing them the vehicle had been um, deregistered and re-recorded. Then we have another document for self-defence um, under a statute law. We have an educative message for the court and the police to show that they are being controlled by the City of London, the Vatican, and... Uh, other parties, should we say. Then we are back here to a letter that I sent to the Ministry of Justice, Ken Clark, on the 23rd. They've not responded to my emails and they haven't responded to my recorded delivery letter. Then you can see our old friends down there um, sworn affidavit one Notice of Understanding and Claim of Right, Affidavit 2. Another document up there which is very interesting, The Secret Covenant of the Bankers. Constitutional considerations and counter-arguments for possible objections within the framework of the case brought against Peter of England by the Crown. It's quite an extensive document I wrote in 2008 for another case. 
we have the proof again here that uh, the monarch is a taking a sworn oath to the, the Holy See or the Holy Roman uh, Empire and the Catholic Pope, title Fide Defensor, given to Henry VIII, and still maintained on the coin and the Great Seal, coin of the realm and the Great Seal. And then some other documents down here, just finishing off my bookable hours, my V5, uh, some uh, seizure notice there, which doesn't state at all why they have the right under any statute law to seize the vehicle, which will be a very interesting discussion. That's the uh, Her Majesty's Court Service notification for the court and time. These are my notes, though, from when I visited the Royal Courts of Justice, Queen's Bench Division. Here's my driving license, which uh, I got back today, or was told it was not revoked as of today. Those are the original documents, and um, that is that. So all these uh, documents will be, uh, they are in PDF now, and they will go up on a website that we'll be putting together very soon, and uh, hopefully uh, when we start the legal company, which will represent you in all your endeavours against the encroachment of the state, it's called Re-Legal, um, you'll be able to uh, get access to these documents and also myself to represent you in court. Thank you.